Uh, this is a quick video of how to change a 3 pin plug if you've got to change it or if you've just got to change a fuse on one and the fuse is actually inside and you can it's not on the outside of the plug here first things first is you've got to undo the middle screw the main screw the biggest one there you can either use a small screwdriver or a phillips as long as you've got a screwdriver to fit it undo the screw you don't have to take it all the way out and pull it apart so the top comes off once the top has come off, come off you can see inside you have three wires you have a blue one which goes to the left hand side as you're looking a brown one which goes to the fuse and a green and yellow one which is your earth if you're just changing the fuse, just pop the fuse out like so and replace the fuse with another fuse. Make sure it's the same amp. It says on the fuse what amp it is. That says a 13 amp. I don't know if you can see it there. Get a new fuse, put the new fuse back in and put the plug together. If you're going to change the plug, put your fuse down, you notice at the end of each wire you've got a block with a screw in it. Undo each of these screws one by one. Make sure you remember where the wires come from. The brown one out of the fuse block. don't lose once you've disconnected the brown wire just slide your fuse block back in the plug so you know where it is green and yellow one at the top which is your earth unscrew it don't unscrew it all the way because the wire should slide out once you've loosened it the wire should slide out easy enough and then your blue one which is your neutral undo that one This one's been done up really tight, so I'll use a bigger screwdriver to undo it. There we go. Once you've loosened that off, just pop the wire out. Now your wires are held in by this plastic bridge here. So turn it, your plug around, loosen off your two screws in the bottom there. Once you've loosened them off, and then um, the bridge could come off and then take your wires out as such right when you put your new plug back on I'm putting this one back on because there's nothing wrong with it make sure your bridge is attached to the two screws like so and feed your wires and underneath the bridge like so once your wires are underneath there you don't have to tighten it down yet my wires underneath the bridge can connect either one first. I'm going to connect the fuse one first, which goes on the brown wire. Push the wire into the block, the hole in the block by there, underneath the screw. Push the wire in, not too far, just enough so that you can't see any wire poking out this side. 
and tighten your screw up. Once you've got the screw so tight, slot your fuse holder back in to the plug and then tighten the nut a little bit more. It helps to keep it steady to get the screw as tight as possible. Once that's in, you can actually stick your fuse in to hold it there. Next one I'm going to do is the green and the yellow one. The easiest way, if you can, is to pull the pin out in the top, which is the earth, slide in the wire. You might have to unscrew the, the screw a bit on the top of the pin. Slide the wire in. Not too fast so it sticks out the other side, because if it sticks out the other side like so, it will stop the pin from seating in the plug properly. Make sure it's in just enough so that there's no wire showing on that side. And screw up as tight as you can in your hand. Then pop the pin back in the hole at the top. Once your pin's back in the hole at the top like so, Make sure the screw is done up nice and tight. Push the wire down firmly inside the plug. Like so. Last but not least is the blue one. Same again, you can pop the pin out if you want to. Put your wire in. Make sure it's not sticking out too far. And there's no bare wire showing. The screw is a bit tight as you can hear. Screw it up as tight as you can. Push your pin back in. Push the wire down inside the plug. And then make sure your screw is done up nice and tight. That's your three wires back in your plug and your fuse. So don't forget. It's a brown one to the fuse, green and yellow up to the top, and the blue one to the left, which is the neutral one. Once that's done, turn your plug around and tighten up your three bottom your two bottom screws as so. Tighten the bottom ones up as tight as you can. That firmly holds the wire in place. So you can pull the wires out from the plug. Then place your plug lid back on. Fits nice and neat. Do up your middle screw. Like so. And there it is. One plug replaced back on. Hope this have helped you. Thanks.